Yes, come on camera, finally. We look good. Black queen. Ain't an option. You looking clean, clean, clean. Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. So this video is long overdue. I'm so sorry it took so long. I'm not gonna lie. I did record it like six weeks. Wait, how long have I been engaged? Yeah, engaged. <laughs> did I say engaged? <clears throat> sorry. I did. I recorded this like five days after I originally got engaged but I was editing the video the other day and I was like this video is not it anymore like some of my answers have changed or just the way I was feeling has changed so anyways this is the fiance Q&A well my fiance is not here this is just the me Q&A about being a fiance and my experience so far and all the questions that you guys wanted to know so first of all shout out to my sister-in-law for getting me this uh, Beyonce fiance shirt. This is how we spell fiance from now on, okay? There's no I in fiance, there is an E. Thank you. And here we are, here she is, hello. Now my nail's not being done again. Literally, my nails were only done like the week after I got my um, engagement ring and they have not been done again since because I really don't wear nails, I just don't. So I asked you guys, I mean before to ask me questions, but then I asked you guys again yesterday to ask me all the questions you wanted to know and a lot of them were similar. So I wrote them all down so I didn't have to keep going through my phone to find them and let's get this show on the road. Uh, I feel like we can come a little closer. Let's come a little closer. Okay, so like I said, my fiance is not here with me right now. Sorry, it's just me today, but he will be here again very soon for a video that you guys are going to get a kick out of. So, let's just get on into these questions. First question was, what scares you the most about becoming a wife? What scares me? What does scare me? What scares me? Um, I mean, it's just stepping into something new. Like, I've never been a wife before. I've never lived with a man before. I've never had anyone like, this sounds horrible, but like, <laughs> like wanting sex consistently from me and like me feeling like I have to give it to him. And I know you don't have to have sex with your, like whatever, but you know, it's like a thing. Like knowing like, if say I'm in the bed first, right? And then like he comes in after and I'm like, oh my gosh, do we have to have sex? <laughs> I think it's just something that is completely new and I think I think I'm way more excited than scared nothing really scares me too much it's just more of like the unknown I have no idea what it's gonna be like you know so many people talk about how the first year is the worst or like it's the hardest and I'm like I don't want to what like I hope that we don't have that experience I want all the years to be great you know starting with the first year, so we'll see. Did we discuss marriage prior to getting engaged? So, we answered this um, before. We did do pre-engagement counseling, not pre-marriage. Well, it is still pre-marriage, but we did counseling before we even got engaged to see if we should be getting engaged. His philosophy, and I agreed also, was like, people do pre-marital counseling to see if they should really be getting married, but by then you already have the proposal, you did engagement photos, you, you had already put down payments and stuff, everybody already knows you're engaged, and then halfway through pre-marital counseling, you guys are like, dang, should we even, should we be doing this? You know, like we were like, let's figure that out first before, you know, we get engaged. So we did do that. So it wasn't like a complete shock. I knew he was gonna propose. I just had no idea when. I didn't know that. I just didn't know. He got me, he got me. All right, how does it feel? It feels fantastic. I know in the other video um, with me and my fiance, I was like, you know, it doesn't really feel any different, but it feels. Like it has soaked in now and it feels great. I don't know why, but I feel like people respect you more after you become a fiance, <laughs> that's for one. Um, I don't know, it just feels really good to know that like he chose me, I chose him, we, cho we choose each other and like we really about to be doing this. And like I know that I'm about to embark on a new season of my life and it's just really exciting and it feels great to be wearing this ring all the time, it's great, I love it, I love it. Okay, somebody said, are you going to give a motivational speech to your single followers now that you're about to leave us? <laughs> Since I ain't going nowhere, okay? Uh, like I told somebody before, I've been single way longer than I've been engaged, so 
I'm still here for my single sisters. I'm, you know, like, still gonna be doing my suggestions for singles and blah, blah, blah. I can't give no marriage advice. Even after I get married, I don't feel like I will be qualified to give marriage advice for a long time because we don't know what we're doing. We're figuring it out, but I'm still here for you guys. I'm still here. I'm still here, okay? We are in the trenches. I'm just not in the deep, deep trenches, but um, <clears throat> I'm still here. Da -da -da -da. Do you ever have second thoughts? That's a really good question. Um, I don't necessarily have second thoughts about Jonathan. Like, oh, I don't know if I should be marrying you. Before we got engaged, like months before, I was like, oh, wait a minute, this don't, something ain't right in the water. But no, I don't have second thoughts about him. I have second thoughts about our wedding. I'm like, um, the courthouse is looking real good right now because these wedding prices are adding up, okay? If you saw my Instagram yesterday, the way somebody quoted me $25,000 for some flowers, I was like, dang, babe, <laughs> we could really just do this tomorrow at the courthouse for like $500. This thing is starting to add up. But no second thoughts on my man. I can't see myself with anybody else but him. There are, okay, I will say something though. I feel like the devil be trying to get in my head because there are things, and I, I wish he was here, but <laughs> there's things that I started to notice about him after we got engaged. Like, I've known him for 10 years and I didn't see any of these things the past 10 years, but all of a sudden, every time he eats, I'm like, why are you so loud? Why are, why are you chewing so loud? Why are you eat, why do you eat so messy? I've never noticed it before. Now I'm just like, Ugh, why do you eat like that? <laughs> but nothing that ever made me feel like, oh, maybe he's not my, my person, you know? Speaking of, this is a question that everybody always wants to know. Um, how did you know that he was the one? And then also, I got a question in there that said, I had to write it on the back because it came later, but it was, is it just a feeling or is it a knowing? Like that's deep, man, like, oh, I ain't, I, I whoa. Um, how did I know that he was the one? The one, we're gonna say the one because I don't believe that there is just one person made for you. Like I don't believe like when God makes you, he makes another person and like this is the one. Y'all are supposed to be together. And then the next, makes the next person and then makes the husband. This is for you. Next person, ne this, because like we, we've we heard this philosophy, like if that was the case, somebody would have messed it up a long time ago and then the whole domino effect, it would have been ruined a long time ago. So there is no one. Do I believe he's the best option for me? The best choice? Absolutely, he is definitely the best choice for me. There are, there could have been others, but he made it through. <laughs> the biggest thing is I prayed on it and I felt overwhelming peace, overwhelming peace. Yeah, so is it a feeling and, or is it a knowing? I would say it's a knowing because I didn't always feel like we should be together. I didn't always feel like he deserved me. I didn't always feel like I loved him, but I just knew that. We, that was, he was the guy. Just seek, seek ye first, the kingdom of heaven, and all these other things will be added unto you. Something along those lines. All right, are you planning to wear a veil? Absolutely, I am. Originally, I said I wanted to wear, like, the veil over my face. Every time somebody didn't do it, I was like, oh, your husband should be the first person who sees you when he takes off the veil and kisses you. But now that it's my turn, and, um, now y'all better get this beauty as soon as they open the curtains, okay? Y'all, I'm finna hit you with the beauty. He will see me down there, okay? But the veil will be on the back of my head. Yes, I love a good veil, I do. Did you both have a lot of options to date other people? Yes, absolutely, yeah. Do you guys allow friendship dates? Um, yeah, but not really. I mean, say if he wanted to like say, oh, I'm gonna go to lunch with Lisa tomorrow just cause you know, I haven't seen my friend in a long time. We're like, oh, okay, cool, have a good time. Not like, oh, one of my homegirls from school, she wants to go to dinner with me. It's like, who? <laughs> and yeah, no, and it's not happening. Um, we don't make a practice out of that. Um, it would be very rare if it did happen, but there are a handful of girls of my friends, my friends, okay? Not his friends that I don't know, like my girlfriends that I would be fine with if he went to like brunch or something. But um, yeah, we very much trust each other. I know there's a handful of guys that my fiance wouldn't blink twice if I said I was going to lunch with them, but use your intuition and also, um, I don't think it should be a practice at all. Like it really shouldn't be a practice and we don't really do that.
Well, we do more couples videos together um, and other people want to know if we're going to start a channel. So we're going to do a few more couples videos together right now. We were going to start a channel as soon as we got engaged, but we were like, yeah, maybe we're jumping the gun here. <laughs> we have other things to do really quick. Um, we didn't want to just plaster. Like, it was just too much too soon. So we were like, maybe a little after we get married, we'll start a channel. You know, when we live together and we're like, we've had some experiences and things like that. But in the meantime, we'll do a few videos, maybe like once a month or something on my channel. But yeah, he'll, you'll be seeing his face every now and then because it's a really nice face, okay? That face is nice and I don't mind sharing that face. Just the face. I don't mind. Okay, <clears throat> are you going to go all out or keep it simple? So originally, if y'all see my Pinterest board, it was insane. It was going all out until I started seeing the price of things. I was like, oh, <laughs> so candles instead of flowers? Okay, we can do that. Yeah, it's gonna be like medium. I need to remember I still have to buy a house and have a life after. So it's gonna be like medium. It's gonna seem very nice. Like kind of glamorous, but very like down to earth. I don't know, it's a little bit in the middle. It's gonna be nice though. All right, have you taken the time to see your fiance at his worst? Yes, I have. Um, he doesn't have a huge worst because he's a pretty laid back person, but we were just talking about this the other day too, like our first argument actually. <laughs> it was a little scary. I was like, who is this? I've never seen him act that way before. I was like, are you good? <laughs> like, I've never seen him like that before. So, um, yes, and he has seen me at my worst. We have cried together. I'm talking like snot, like dripping on the shirt. I've seen him, uh, you know, months without haircuts. Like, I know, you know, like, he let him farting in front of me. You know, like, we, I think I've seen him, you know, at his worst as of right now. How are y'all preparing for marriage? Um, she said, not preparing for the wedding, preparing for marriage. We're going to a marriage course right now that's being held by our church. Shout out to History Makers Church. Um, look them up on Instagram. Yeah, there's a marriage course, which is really good. It's a seven week course. Once a week in the evenings, like we go out to dinner and like they rent out a room for us. We have a workbook and like we talk over it. Like we're doing our thing. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything that can fully prepare you for marriage until you are just in it and you just figure it out. You know, you can read books and stuff, but like once you're in the thick of it, that's when things get real. Okay, so I'm gonna say tell us your love story. That is gonna be our video, our next video. When we tell it together, it's actually a joke. So yeah. Who is paying for the wedding? So shout out to my parents who gave me a nice donation towards my savings already. They gave me a very nice donation. <laughs> I don't know if I could have done it without them. Like they gave me a nice donation and then I stacked my few stacks on top of that and which in turn will give me the wedding that I want and my fiance is invited, he can come too. Um, but yeah, my parents are helping a lot. And then, you know, of course, I'm doing my thing. You know, if y'all see a few extra sponsorships here and there, just <laughs> support me, okay? Support me. Thank you. Somebody said, um, she said, how do you tell your mama you're not, um, you're not inviting her friends? I, I haven't told her yet. <laughs> she doesn't know yet. Um, she will know soon. Yeah, God bless her. I'm gonna let her have her moment. I'm gonna let her have her moment. But she asked for 10, I may have to cut it down to five, okay? Somebody said expensive wedding or expensive honeymoon. I'm going medium on both. In some honeymoon locations I was thinking of, I'm thinking maybe Bali. I wanted to go to Bora Bora and stay in them, those little huts. And he was like, it's either we go to Bora Bora and we stay in a hut and then come back and have nowhere to live or we can go somewhere nice but a little more affordable and then buy a house. I'm like. Man, you take the fun out of everything, dang. <laughs> but no, nah, he's right, I agree. I hear Bali's like super affordable, so it gives the vision without the big bank. All right, somebody said, what is your favorite moment with your fiance? And it hands down, it's it's the engagement. It was the best. Like if, 
If you haven't seen our engagement video yet, definitely watch that. It was so well thought out, so well planned, such a nice day, so beautiful, and I really just was not expecting it. I was shook, and it was just the best moment of my life. Also because I love surprises, and there's just something about a surprise on top that just like, not me getting teary-eyed and like choked. <laughs> there is just something about, I don't know, I hope every woman gets engaged, or at least proposed to, to somebody they want to marry because it's the best feeling like seeing the man you love like on his knee saying will you marry me and like giving you a little speech like you know I love you and blah blah and like you're the one. Well, all this fun stuff it's I want to live that day over for the rest of my life and then like having everyone you love there just being oh my gosh why am I getting emotional <laughs> just having everyone you love being there for you and just supporting your relationship and your your upcoming union and like oh that was that was the best. I want to do it all over again. It's, oh my gosh. All right, someone said, am I getting a wedding planner or am I doing it myself? So, I am not getting a wedding planner. I am planning this wedding myself. <laughs> I will say, um, I think I'm doing a pretty good job, but I do understand why people get why people get wedding planners, especially if you have like, you know, a nine to five or I'll say a 40 hour a week job. It's really time consuming to like find the best vendors and take phone calls with these vendors and do FaceTime meetings with them and like go to their shop and pick out flowers and every like small detail, it's a lot. It's even one of the reasons why I have been so absent because planning a wedding, it's it takes hours out of your day. So my initial thought was like, oh, I'm home. I work from home. I can definitely do both. I have time. But then I realized planning this wedding was taking out a lot of time from recording. I'm like, no, I have to work. So it is what it is. I am planning it myself. I really think I'm doing amazing and I can't wait to see everything I put together come to fruition. Yeah, I just wanted to save the like three, 4,000 on a wedding planner when I could just put Put that towards something else uh do we want kids if so how many and do i want to start cracking out the kids right after we get married yes i want kids absolutely i have spurts of baby fever but shout out to my nieces and nephews for reeling that in they reel it in real good i don't want to get pregnant right after we get married i do want to have like a a year and a half or two before i um before you know that just reminded me i feel like i skipped a question i remember seeing this i knew i knew i missed it i will it just reminded me anyways um like a year or two so my thing is i'm no, I'm not 30. So. <laughs> I'll be 30 when we get married, but I do know that things get a little more complicated after like 30 or 35. But I'm just trusting God because I don't want to have a kid right away. I really don't. I just want to enjoy my man. And the question that I missed, I skipped over was, did I initially feel weird about the age gap? And I remember someone else saying, is the age gap going to prolong us having kids since he is younger? When we get married, I'll be 30, he'll be 25. So initially when we first met, the age gap didn't matter to me because I wasn't even looking at him like that. I wasn't like, dang man, if he was old, like no, he was 15, I was 20. That was the furthest thing from my mind. <laughs> it was not a thing. But when I did realize that I started to like him, he, I'm not gonna lie, he was 17 when it started to click in my head like crap, I am starting to have feelings for this boy and I'm like, I, I can't, I can't let it happen. And I, it's so funny. I mean, I don't want to spoil the video, but I remember it was very clear that he liked me. Everybody knew. I knew, but I was like, I, we can't do this. Like, there's no way. We could just keep it friends. You my, you my, little, you my little dog. Like, you my roly. We cool. I'm gonna call it little brother. But we can't do this. And then even when he turned 18, I like ran for the hills. I was like, oh no, he's 18 now. And he always knew when I turned 18, like that's when I'm really gonna go in. And I knew that too. So when he turned 18, I like completely blew him off. I was like, there's no way. I can't do it. He's too young. I can't do it. So yes, without telling the story, because I'll tell it more in, the, in our next video. Technically, in the beginning, I didn't care because I wasn't thinking about it. But once I started thinking about it, I was like, I can't do it. I was like, oh gosh, I like you, but I can't do it. I know you're 18 now, but I just, I can't do it. I just, I was, I was a little embarrassed. I'm not going to lie, because what? I was 23 and he was 18. Right now, it doesn't seem like such a huge age gap, but it just didn't feel right. I was like, this doesn't feel right. This doesn't look right. It wouldn't be right. So yeah, I pretty much like blew him off until he be until he turned 20. And then we started dating when he turned, we started dating when he was 22. So yeah, short story. Anyways, 
So last question I will answer is, do I have any advice? So I've only been a fiance for like six weeks now, but I do have some advice because it's been a long six weeks <laughs> and there have already been a few trials and tribulations. So one, I will say my biggest L right now is take a while until you buy your dress. I know that dresses take like six to nine months to like ship out and stuff and I feel like the reason why I jumped ship so fast is because we did pick a wedding date and it's much sooner than I had in my head. So I was like, crap, I am like cutting it real short, okay? Real short. No, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> we just wanna get married. <laughs> so I like jumped ship real quick because I was like, I need a dress. But I would suggest you go to, go to at least three or four shops. You could always go back and get the dress that made you tear up because the dress that I bought, I definitely had the tear up, like the veil was on, I had flowers in my hand, all the all my girls were like, this is it, yeah, this is your dress, this is your dress. And in my heart, I, even though you're tearing up, it doesn't mean it's your dress. It just means, oh my gosh, I'm in a wedding dress, I'm getting married, I can't believe this is happening. That's like what I was feeling. And I did like the dress, I like it a lot. It's beautiful, I can't wait to give it away. <laughs> I think you should try on a bunch of dresses, try on every style, even styles you didn't think you would ever want to try. Try on everything so that you have no regrets, okay? No regrets. Oh, here's one thing I'll definitely say. Give your fiance some input. I know he's a man and they don't have the vision that we have, but give him some input because something that I said absolutely not to, to my fiance in the beginning is something that I actually really enjoy now. Like at first he was like, can we just do candles at the table? And I was like, candles? Do I look like I want candles at my table? I want flowers. And now we're doing candles and I absolutely love the idea. <laughs> so listen to him, he, he may have some good ideas. They may not all, all be good, but at least be like, okay baby, yeah, we gonna, we'll, I'll write that down. Mm -hmm. I, you said candles, I'm gonna write that down. I'll talk to the, um, the candle lady about it and I'll inquire, okay, love you. Make him feel like he's a part of it, unless he really doesn't wanna be, that's, that's cool too. But that is really all I have right now. I'm sure I'll have more advice later, but I still haven't been through the full ringer of things, but that's all I have right now for you guys. So again, I just, first of all, I wanna thank you guys so much for like the well wishes. A lot of you guys said, I don't have a question. I'm just so happy for you. If you've been following me for a long time, you've seen my videos, you know. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, love you guys. I'm a fiance. Hello, the proof is, is right here. I'm loving every single moment and I wanna make sure I'm also enjoying it and I'm documenting it. So, did y'all hear that? <laughs> All right, I love you guys so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.